holes in your yard. This is about the time where we start seeing some of this. I get it from squirrels almost all the time. I have a lot of squirrels in my yard that are starting to hide nuts. But in this case, where the bigger holes are concerned, they probably are some critters. So skunks can do this. Raccoons can do this to a more limited extent, but skunks are pretty good at making a lot of holes in the yard. And then last but not least are the armadillos, which now are almost throughout all of Missouri. At least they're up to I-70 at this point because I see the roadkill all over the place. So what they're actually looking for most of the time is land shrimp or grubs. So this might be a good indicator that you need to maybe dig around in your yard a little bit. All you have to do is take a shovel and go pretty shallow, maybe just an inch down and pull back some of the sod and see if you have a large number of grubs at this point. I do expect a large grub season this year because we had so much rain. I also don't normally recommend preventative insecticides unless you have a history of having grub problems. I know that's widely done. I would prefer to get to a point of this time of year where we know we have the problem and we can use a contact insecticide, in this case, Dilox, which is readily available. There are a number of granulars that are on the market that have Dilox in them. Of course, you're gonna to wanna to be very careful about pollinators. I've got monarchs all over the place right now. But since it's a granular and since you water it in right afterwards, you can target the grubs and kind of keep these critters away at the same time. 